Hey guys, welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. Now, I was looking around on the internet today and I saw a new, to me, um, YouTube channel by the name of Tillith. I will link the particular video that caught my attention this morning in the description below where she uses watercolors to create a sort of a nebula or galaxy scene. I was really intrigued by that. So I thought we would give it a try, inspired by Tillith. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put a circle on our page. Now in her video, she just did it with a pencil and worked around it. I really wanna introduce the idea of using masking fluid. Um, this is one of my palette plates and I am going to get out my masking fluid as soon as I find it. I have one here that's in this bottle. Um, I poured it into this bottle. This is a bottle with a brush on it that I got from American Science and Surplus. So I'm going to just use the plate as a guide and I'm going to brush this around the edge and then let it dry. And that'll keep, should keep our edge nice and crisp and clean if I do it right this is uh, like a resist so the watercolor paint won't go past this as a barrier you could do a square um, or another shape and you could probably try masking tape but um, or painters tape but I think that masking fluid works better There we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to make sure I get it well covered. Okay. Now the trick is to pick the plate up without messing it up. Let's see. Let's grab a palette knife. And gently. There we go. There we go. So we're going to let that dry and we'll be back and we're going to paint a nebula.
decide if it looks like a planet or a nebula, but either way, I love it. I love the way it turned out. It was so much fun. And I can see this coming up on an upcoming episode of Watercolor Wednesday Live because this is a great exercise and it was just fabulous. Now I know somebody's going to ask me about this. This is by Sakura and it's some kind of a white crayon. I believe it's like an oil pastel crayon-y thing. I'm pretty sure I got it at Jet Pens and it says, hold on I'll get my glasses. It does have a UPC number on it, but everything's in Japanese. It says Sakura Color Products Japan, and it's um, some kind of a white crayon that says Sakura SC5. It looks like 5450 or S number 50. And then it says UPC number. PJ100013381. And it must be SCS number 50. Because it says SCS here. Down here it says number 50 white. I'm pretty sure I got it at Jet Pens. It's some kind of a white crayon. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I mean, if somebody out there can read Japanese, there you go. I don't know what it says. That's the end. The Oops. But it was a lot of fun, and it. I forgot I had this. I saw it in my pen bucket, um, and it. I like putting it on here, and it smudges really easily. So anyway, um, and that's it. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you uh, have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave a comment on the video or you can contact me via social media or my email address, um, which are in the description below. If you want to send me happy mail, which I enjoy, um, or a product to try and review, my P.O. box is also in the description below, along with links to uh, Crazy Island University where I teach online and my Facebook group and all that stuff. So anyway, don't forget to go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe paint a nebula. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.